The mind is the 16th item, and above the mind, the soul is the 17th item. He is the living being, therefore, he is one only. In cooperation with the other 15 items, along with the mind, the living entity is enjoying the material world alone. The instruments are the five sense organs, the five working organs, the five objects of the senses. Thus the mind is 16, and the living entity himself is 17. In this way, the living entity is enjoying the different situations, is enjoying different situations of three types, namely happiness, distress, or a mixture of both. <coughs> Hmm. So, we are fallen into great ocean of Nisans, covered. Uh, first of all, the five senses, uh, knowledge, acquiring senses, Gyanendriya and Karmendriya, working senses, ten, and sense object. We have got eyes, therefore eyes is en are engaged for seeing something beautiful, roop, ros, ros means test that is the business of the tongue and to see beautiful thing that is the business of the eyes rup ras sabda sabda means sound uh, the ear we have got ear we want to hear nice uh, songs music radio television so the air is there, the objects are there. <coughs> Roop, ras, sabda, gandha, smelling. Uh, there is good odor also, bad odor also. Uh, Roop, ras, gandha, sabda, sparsa. <coughs> In this way, we are entangled completely under the laws of material nature. I am the spirit soul, saptadasa. Uh, I have given my power of attorney to the mind, and mind is creating different varieties of the sabdasparsa, rupras, gandha sabdasparsa. In this way, life after life, uh, as it is explained in the previous verse, jathāgyas tamasā upāsthi bhaktam eva hi nabeda pudva aparam nashta janma smitistatha. So, nashta uh, I do not know. Uh, I do not know means I cannot remember what I did in my past life and what is going to happen in the next life. <clears throat> in ignorance, tamasā, agga tamasā upāste. This is tamaṅga. The present life as it is, we try to enjoy. That's all without caring 
uh, for the next life or without understanding what was my past life. <coughs> but the human being should be intelligent enough. You know, why uh, I am enjoying, I am suffering, the other person, uh, he is differently enjoying or sufferingly, uh, suffering differently. Why the differences are there? This is intelligence. Uh, why not one kind of enjoyment? Uh, why not everyone millionaire? Why not everyone pauper or poor? There are varieties. Uh, they, they do not consider it. They are so full, they, they should. So why I am put into this condition, why he is put in the another condition, why the other is put in another condition? That is called tamasa. They do not care to know also. Tamasa. Tamasa achan. This is not life. This is animal life. Uh, Therefore, basic injunction is don't keep in this animal life. Tamasi ma, don't keep yourself in this darkness. Jyotir gama, come to the light. <coughs> so, Jyotir gama means that is tapasya. To come to the platform of light. It requires tapasya, austerity. Uh, that is required. The human life is meant for tapasya, to come to the light platform. Tapo the monk, putrakajina suddheta satya, tamasik or tamas or darkness means. Just like a person, he is attacked with tuberculosis, but he doesn't care for it. Uh, <clears throat> but an intelligent man goes to the physician, asks that why I am suffering, what is the medicine. That is intelligence. Uh, so uh, human life begins when one is inquisitive to know. Why I am suffering? That is human life. And if he keeps himself in darkness, oh, this is suffering, is suffering. Let me enjoy. <clears throat> Sometimes they want to forget the suffering by another suffering, uh, drinking or LSD, to forget suffering. That is another suffering. Another suffering so much so that one becomes crazy and commits suicide. <coughs> this is going on. Uh, a very uh, precarious life, and human my life is the only opportunity to rectify these mistakes and <coughs> come to his original position. <coughs> constitutional position uh, means the spiritual platform. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochati Nakankati Samas Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhvakti Lavati Param. That is wanted. <coughs> uh, Brahma Bhuta. Uh, as soon as one becomes Brahma Bhuta, then <clears throat> Immediately he becomes prasannātmā, jubilant. Uh, uh, just like one is suffering from a disease, and somewhere or other, when he is relieved from that disease, immediately becomes jubilant. Uh, that is required. That is wanted. <clears throat> Brahma Bhuta prasannātmā, and when one becomes jubilant, then in that attitude one can enter into devotional service of the Lord. Uh, not in the material condition 
which is uh, always suffering, dukkhālāyam uh, asāsa. But we go on suffering uh, just like animal. Animal is being taken to the slaughterhouse. Still he is eating uh, very jubilantly. Next item he will be killed. So this kind of consciousness is called animal consciousness. Jashyat buddhi kuna peti dhāduti sadhik kalatra dishu bhavma ijyadhi jatītha buddhi salile na karhi chit saiva gokhara. Gokhara. So this Krishna consciousness movement means to deliver people from this uh, ignorant uh, ignorance platform and bring him to the uh, light platform and knowledge platform so that one can understand what is his constitution position, how he can stop the sufferings of life, and how one can become eternally blissful life of knowledge. Yeah. <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, he has given us the Sikhasta, Chaita Dharpana by chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. Uh, the Bhagavad says tapasa. Tapasa means by undergoing severe austerities, penances. Tapasa Brahmacharjena Samena Damena Va. This is the instruction in this hastra. <coughs> One has to become perfect by tapasa, by austerities. Tapasa Brahmacharjena and becoming brahmachari, uh, celibate, uh, what is it called? Celibate life? Huh? Celibacy. celibacy, yes. Life of celibacy, controlling the sex desire. This is tapasā. Tapasā brahmacārte, samena dhamena. Uh, these things are education. Uh, and what is this nonsense education? How to become a big mechanics of motor car parts. <laughs> this is not education. Uh, this is Shudra, Shudra education. It is not education. It is called Silpo. Uh, Silpo Vidya, Brahma Vidya. Uh, vidya means Brahma Vidya. Uh, therefore, in the Vedic society, education was meant for the Brahmins. Uh, education was not meant for the Sudras. Uh, education was meant for the Brahmins and uh, partially of the Khatriyas. Neither of the Vaishyas nor of the Sudras. Uh, what education? Vaishya's livelihood is, or his occupation and duty is, uh, how to produce food, how to give protection to the cows, and if there is excess stock, how to trade with it. So anyone can learn by seeing only. Uh, it doesn't require any high education. Uh, uh, if the father is tilling the field, the son can learn it by seeing it. Uh, if the father, just like in Vrindavan, uh, we, Krishna, Krishna is going to tend the cows and calves of Nanda Maharaj. There is no education. It can be learned simply by seeing others doing that. So at the present moment, uh, education means many Indians are coming to America to learn how to polish motor car parts or how to create technology. So this is not education. Uh, 
rationalist. But uh, the Europeans and Americans, they are going to India for learning Brahma Vidya. That is education. Uh, uh, they, Europeans and Americans, when they go to Vrindavan and Mayapur, they do not go there to see how we have manufactured cycle and machine for swing. They have seen enough of this. Uh, we may be very proud in India. Now we are manufacturing cycle and swing machine or some motor parts. Advance. This is not advance. Uh, education means how to make one Brahman, how to teach him, how he becomes sense control, sama, dhamma. Uh, mind control, how to become truthful, how to become clean, how to become simple, how to become full of knowledge, how to apply knowledge in practical life, how to know God. This is education. This is education. <laughs> so uh, the present situation of the human civilization is very, very dark, tamasa. Uh, <clears throat> they want to live in the city uh, without working, for producing their food, and uh, there are butchers, uh, they kill uh, innocent animals, and in the city they eat the meat, and to digest they drink, and work like hogs and dogs whole day and night. This is civilization. This is not civilization. Uh, this is darkness, uh, darkness of life. So we are in the darkness of life at the present moment because it is Kalijo and the system is always there. So long the material world is there and the living entities are fallen in this material world. So they are implicated, more or less. So in the Sattva Yuga, Teta Yuga, Dapur Yuga, they are not so implicated as they are implicated at this moment, Kali Yuga, uh, because the age of misunderstanding uh, <coughs> and the Duration of age is also very short. Prayano uh, alpa yusho. In this age, uh, people are living not very long. Uh, although the um, uh, limit is hundred years, nobody is living hundred years. Uh, it is reduced, reduced more and more. In the college, the memory will be reduced, the duration of life will be reduced, the strength of the body will be reduced, uh, people's sense of mercifulness will be reduced. In this way, there are eight items mentioned in the Simad Bhagavatam. It will be reduced. Uh, uh. So this is the age of Kali, uh, and, and we are in darkness, and um, mode of life, just like animals. Uh, so this is our position. But the uh, Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, He is sympathetic. Uh, he comes. Therefore, He comes. He came in the Dapur Yuga, by the end of Dapur Yuga, and He left behind Him this Bhagavad Gita. Uh, being merciful upon this conditioned soul, that you make your life uh, perfect uh, by reading this Bhagavad Gita. I am living behind him. Arjun is my friend. So, uh, in the way of questions and answers, and in the way of Arjun's falling in difficulty, uh, Arjun was not difficult. He is personal friend of Krishna. But in order to 
derived in extraction of Bhagavad Gita, he showed himself as in ignorance. Uh, the benefit is our that we have got this Bhagavad Gita. Uh, but still we are so fallen uh, because he Krishna said that Sarva Dharman Mami Gang Sarang Bhaya. Therefore people misunderstood. Again Krishna came in this Kali Yuga as Chaitanya Mahap. Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Nami. The Rupa Goswami, he prayed to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nama Mahavadanaya. Krishna came. That's all right. But he was not so liberal. He wanted first of all surrender. Sarva Dharman Paritanya Mami Kang Saranang Bhaja. Angtva Sarva Papi Bhamakhaisa. Krishna made condition. Krishna is personal, supreme personality of God in himself. He came to show his mercy and therefore he left Bhagavad Gita to be read, to be read by common, any common man can understand. But the rascals are so rigid that they will misinterpret. Krishna left it for reading it. By everyone, any common man can understand. Dharma khetri, kuru khetri, samavita, This is the beginning. Any common man can understand that kuru khetra is still there and it is dharma khetra. Still people go there to take bath in the Brahma Kunda during lunar and solar eclipse. It is a great uh, dharma khetra, but they will interpret uh, dharma khetra. Kuru khetra means this body. Where they get this meaning? Where is the dictionary? No, because he is scholar, he has invented some meaning. This is going on, and people are misled. Uh, so the time is very, very bad, and even uh, there is attempt to deliver them. They are so easy, rigid, and so stubborn, dog obstinacy. They want to remain in the doggish condition of life. Uh, it is very, very difficult. Uh, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so kind. <coughs> Uh, Krishna said in the Bhagavad Gita, Manushalam sahasesu kaschit jatati siddhai. Jatatam api siddhyanam kaschit vetimam tattat. To understand Krishna is not so easy thing. Uh, Manushalam sahasesu, after many, many millions of persons, one tries to become siddha. Siddha means to understand what he is. Uh, uh, Gyan, uh, that is Brahma Bhuta Prasanna. And Jatatama Visiddhana, uh, just like there are two classes of transcendentalists the Mayavadi and the Vaishnava. Uh, that is all over the world. So, Mayavadi, they are supposed to be Siddhas. Uh, uh, they are not Siddha, but they are trying to become Siddha, uh, to understand the spiritual position. Neti, neti, I am not this, I am not this, I am not this. But they are not Siddhas. Uh, Siddhas, when they will understand that Vasudeva Sarva Miti Samahatma Sudullava, when they will understand Krishna, the Krishna is everything. Samahatma, that Mahatma, not this ordinary Mahatma, Narayan, Nama Narayan. He is ordinary. Uh, Sudurlava, very rare Mahatma. Who is? Vasudeva Sarva Mithi. Samahatma, Vasudeva, Krishna is everything. That is Siddha. Uh, Siddha. And again, Jatatama Visidhyanam Kaschit Vetti Mantat. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very kind uh, that uh, without considering whether it is a Siddha or a Vidya or uh, anything else, let them take Krishna Prema. Uh, 
Tapurva Goswami prayed to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gaurati Se Namo. He understood that here is Krishna, but he has come now in the most liberal way. Everyone is giving Krishna prema. Uh, how chant Hare Krishna, dance, and become a lover of Krishna. So nice. Uh, simply by chanting and dancing, one is becoming practical. It is uh, all these boys and girls, four or five years ago, they did not know what, who is Krishna. Uh, that is surprising to everyone. The whole world is praising this movement because they see practically that how these uh, European American boys and girls are so much uh, I mean, absorbed in the thought of Krishna. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's gift. Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prima Prada. Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne. So, very simple thing. Uh, don't think I have played something wonder. No, it is not my wonder. The process is wonderful. The process itself, you have to simply accept, then your life will be successful. Uh, it is not that Bhaktivedanta Sami has brought this. They say, they give me the credit, that is my good fortune also. That, uh, But actually, I am just like a peon. I am broad, uh, but I am uh, delivering it without any adult tradition. That may be my credit. And if you take it without any adult tradition and practice it, then your life is successful. This is the secret of success. Uh, chant, dance, take prasadam, live very happily, and look very brilliant, and next time, uh, go to home, back to God. So kindly, uh, I am very pleased that you are doing nicely. But don't be proud. Uh, always remain humble, meek, that I am nothing, I cannot. That will be nice. And if you think, now I become liberated, I, I can chant and dance. No, don't think like uh, that's why like even Chaitanya Charita Amrita author, he says, Purisher ki chaite mui se I am lower than the worm in the stool. Jagai madhai haite mui se I am more sinner than jagai madhai. Uh, in this way, that is not artificial. A Vaishnava must think like that, that I am rotten. I have no value. Don't be proud. Uh, then the things will go on nicely. Uh, and as soon as you become proud, then my yes, you are God. Come on. Uh, I'll kick you on your face. Come on. <laughs> These rascals become God, and the Maya kicks on the face, and they think that they have become God. Don't become like that. Always remain humble servant, and you'll be happy. Thank you very much.